Rob, let's go here. Um, we've talked about a lot of great performances in the playoffs. And Mike Malone, the head coach of the Denver Nuggets, whose team's up 3-2 on the Phoenix Suns, uh, said, hey, don't forget about my guy. Here he is. He said Nicola is, um, you know, I learned back at St. Agnes CYO, and you know, the defense tells you what to do. And Nicola never forces anything. I mean, like, he's a guy that literally will just read the game and take what the game offers. And, you know, in this series, everyone's talking about Devin Booker, rightfully so. The, the performances he's put on in the first round against the Clippers and against us, they've been, you know, just spectacular. You know, but you know, I think sometimes we maybe take Nikola Jokic for granted because what he is doing is just incredible. Every single night, I, as you mentioned, I think now he has his 10 triple doubles in the playoffs, passing Will Chamberlain, who had nine, um, 29 points, 12 rebounds, 13 assists, two blocks, one steal, and he makes everyone around him better. Never gets rattled. Cool hand Luke. And, um, you know, we're just so thankful that, you know, he's a Denver Nugget and have the relationship in the in the eight years together that I have with him. It's been a lot. It's been a, a really fun ride with him. Rob, we have talked. I think Mike Malone's right. Uh, I don't I won't say Nikola Jokic is underrated because he's got two freaking MVP. Nah, people so, know yeah, who that, he is. Ridiculous. And right. I, exactly. He's not. That, that's foolish. Uh, and, 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 he, and, and he darn near became the first player since Larry Bird nearly 40 years ago to do three to in a row. Right. And, right. and, he's, and, and he's he not the, second place. Right. right. And he's not the only one that could have done it because it could have been LeBron. It could have been Jordan. It could have been Giannis. Right. Like, so. But he had that opportunity, so I don't want to paint this picture of, oh, woe is Nicola. Nobody knows how good he is. That said, I do agree with Michael Malone, who he wasn't singing that song either. Rob, we've talked about who's the best player in the playoffs. Jimmy Butler. Devin Booker. Devin Booker. Booker uh, even Steph Curry, you've heard his name mentioned. Anthony Davis. You go down a ways, at least from what you hear people talking about, before you get to Nikola Jokic. And I got to say, Rob, nobody's having a better postseason than Nikola Jokic. Now, Jimmy Butler, if you want to give him the nod and say, hey, well, they upset the first seed. And he's doing more with less. Like Jimmy Butler doesn't have a supporting cast. Right, that Jokic but he's has. beating a lesser team in this round, right. not the first round. Right, but, but I'm just saying, round, yeah. still they don't have like Jokic has two other really good players. I'm not, you know what I mean. He got more than Butler. He don't right, have as much right. as some. He does not have, but he has an he has, Anthony Davis or a LeBron James. Right, he does not have a Kevin Durant or a Devin Booker. But I hear you. I mean, Butler, he, he got way more than Butler. That's the right. Marshall. Right. Um, um, go ahead. So, yeah, if you want to give him that edge. But, but these are Jokic's numbers, Rob, against Phoenix. 35 points a game. 14 rebounds, 13.8 per game. 10 assists, literally averaging a triple-double. And here are the splits. 57% shooting from the floor. Tremendous. 47% shooting from three, uh, otherworldly. Can we say ridiculous? And ridiculous might be the right, right word for that. 83% from the free throw line. Like, And I think, Rob, and last thing I'll say before you go, I think that the reason he is, at least it feels like to me right now, kind of being under, we're not paying as much attention, we're not quite giving him the love that he deserves from these playoffs or whatever, is because his game is so understated. Like, the only thing he does that's flashy are his passes. And it's not all of his passes, but, you know, he's a great – he is, is a great passer. Like, I think he's the best passing big man ever. I know Wilt once led the league, had the most triple – or most assist in the league so you, one So you year. think he's the best passer, huh? Yeah, I, I don't know who do. is. I'm not saying that – A lot of people thought Or disputing Walton, it, right. 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 Or some people, obviously, Will, I don't know that a lot of people would say Will, although he did lead the league in assists one year. But Walton is a name you hear. But I think it's Jokic. Uh, he's got great court vision, a tremendous passer, all that. 
But and he leads Rob in the entire playoffs right now. He he's of all the guys remaining, he leads everybody in assists per game. Um, so I just think the fact that he doesn't get off the ground much, he's not his game for the most part isn't flashy, and even his personality to a degree, at least maybe maybe some of it's you know because of the cultural barrier or whatever, but his personality is feels understated too. Well, and I just think some of that factors in, Rob. When when you don't hear from a guy, Chris, right? Right. You out of sight, out of mind. I don't know. I mean, you'd have to play me some tape for me to honestly play. Like, if you played me tape of three guys talking, I couldn't tell you which guy was Jokic. I couldn't. <laughs> and and he's a star. You know what I mean? Like, right, I, right, I'm just being right. real, Chris. Like, right. you don't hear Superstar. much. You don't hear much from him. So I do think that that's a disadvantage. But I agree. He's not underrated. You don't win MV, two MVPs no, in a row and, no. and somebody calls you underrated. Maybe you're not hyped. You're underhyped. Can we say that, Chris? Underhyped? He's not on the tongue of everybody talking NBA? I'll buy that, but not underrated. People know this guy is a tremendous player. There's a reason why he was in the mix uh, for um, the MVP again. Yep. Um because his stuff is that good. I mean, his, well, his ability is that good. I think you used a good word, underhyped. Right. Um, because the guys that are hyped, Rob, are, they do, they, they, either their game is just incredibly flamboyant, for lack of a better term, or flashy or beautiful, whatever you want to call it, high flying, dunking a lot, a uh, bunch of, Fancy passes, um, hitting a bunch of threes, you know, something like that. A lot of wiggle, a lot of great handle, whatever. Um, or they talk, that talk. Rob, I think with Tim Duncan, as great as he was and as great as he is recognized to be, basically everybody got him in his top 10. Rob, if Kev, if Tim Duncan had the personality of Kevin Garnett. Oh God. So right? So he's he's yelling on the court. He's he, you know, he's just he got this outgoing, charismatic personality where you just always are looking at him on the court. He's off the court. He's like that as well. Rob, I I hate to say this because this might be an indictment on just uh, those of us who do these rankings and you know what I mean? Like where we, we judge players. I think he'd be judged a lot higher as high as he already is. But if he had that type of personality, Rob, same numbers, same championships, five and one, which is awesome. Beating Shaq. Shaq had Kobe. Duncan didn't have Kobe. Right. You know what I mean? Or even say Shaq's personality. Don't you think people probably would be like, I think they probably have Duncan ranked even higher. I agree. I mean, the 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 dude was quiet. You know, I'm going to wear my sandals, Chris. I'm not flashy. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say anything uh, out of line. I'm just going to play and win. And, and the other thing, too, Chris, with his numbers, if he had those same numbers and they didn't win, man, I probably wouldn't hear about Duncan at all. No, you're absolutely right. Because right. like, his individual numbers don't blow you away. No. You know, they're, they're good, very good, player. right. Right. No, that's a great point. Um, he would just be, but, but, uh, yeah, I mean, Rob, if he, if he would was Would he be like LaMarcus Shaq, Aldridge? Would he be that guy? I don't know, Chris. I'm if just, he didn't uh, win? Yeah. If he didn't win, that's actually not a terrible comparison. comparison. I'm just saying. The just, thing is, you're saying he was so good, I mean, he just... He like basically his numbers don't tell the full story. No, no. I mean, you know what I mean? no, because like he, he was, was he was yeah, the only, he, he won he won. He was a right. Chris, he was a free throw away, a uh, 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 Kawhi Leonard missed free throw away potentially from right. being six and zero. Let's just no right. There's no doubt. And then and that's my point. I, 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 some people got him ahead of Kobe anyway, but some people don't. But if he was like outgoing, flamboyant has all this swag, I don't think there'd be a doubt people thought he was better than Kobe. 
I mean, because yeah. it was ridiculous. His resume ridiculous. is better. And here's the other thing, too, that hurts Kobe. I know Kobe fans don't want to hear it. Rob G, don't faint. Having Shaq on his team hurts Kobe. Well, well, hurts, but, but, but Kobe you, might not have five rings. He might not have no, those three rings, those first three rings. But that's Shaq. but that's what I'm saying, Chris. Like like that, like you weren't the best player on your team, right? And he was right. a great player, absolutely. But a Shaq was a was was the best. Rob G has a comparison. What do you got, Rob G? Yeah, just in the Kobe Bryant comparison, yes. and you know I'm a Kobe guy. Yes, right. So. Five to five championships. Tim Duncan made the playoffs 18 out of 19 seasons. Which Kobe, is crazy. 15 out of 20. Kobe has more All-Stars 18 to 15. MVPs, Duncan 2 to 1. Finals MVPs, Duncan 3 to 2. All NBA teams are equal 15 to 15. All defensive teams, Duncan has 15. Kobe has That's 12. Ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Duncan was better. I think I have Duncan higher mm-hmm. rated. Um, but I've said this too before, Rob. If you said whose career would you rather have, Kobe on the court, I'd rather have Kobe. Yeah. I'd rather be Kobe. Like, you know what I mean? Like a flashy game. I mean, he's a freaking icon. Duncan is not an icon. No, no, no. But he had a great career. But I agree. Oh with yeah, you. but right, like like playing I mean, in L.A. and winning. You know, on this stage, there's no doubt about it. Kobe yeah, and and, and, uh, just and all the, the players, the, his flair. And yeah. I told you, you close your eyes sometimes, Chris. And you listen to his interviews, and he sounds like Jordan. Am I right? Yeah. Like he was to me. My goodness, he gracious. was. Uh, I mean, this respectfully, like a facsimile of Jordan, but not quite. The, as the tongue, as Mike. the wristband yeah. on his uh, forearm, right? All that. The stuff. way he played, the, the moves, way he walked, a lot of the Chris. moves. Yep, yep. I mean, he was very much like Mike. Uh, but Duncan Rob career average, never led the league in anything. Now that's shocking. Not even one year rebounds, nothing. Nothing. Now he averaged a ton of rebounds. I would I would have thought he's a better rebounder that's what than I thought. Shaq. I thought but, I thought he would have at least done that. But here's the thing. Now Magic obviously led the league a lot in assists and actually led the league in steals two years. But Larry Bird, uh Rob. He never led the league in scoring, Larry, see. no. Never led it in scoring, I know. I'm trying to look at any other pro- and probably certainly not rebounding, even though he's he led the league in free throw percentage four times and in minutes twice, but never led in scoring, rebounding, or assist. And so, um, he was so a yeah, part I mean, of that, but they were wasn't winners. part of that 50, 40, 90 club too? Bird. Uh, There's only been a handful of those guys. I think he is, Chris. Yes. He right? He did it in 86, 87. Yeah. Uh, 52 from f- the field, 40 from three, 91 from the Wow. Line. And uh, actually did it the year after that, too. 52, 41, 91. 